It's not often we get to use the word remarkable around here, but we can use it this time because we're going to begin this hour with a remarkable love story more than 60 years in the making. Here's how it goes. Caroline Reeves and Eddie Lamb, there they are. They were high school sweethearts in Nashville, Tennessee in the 1950s. Look how she's looking at him. Mm. They broke up after a few years. She's still looking at him. <laughs> they broke up after a few years and didn't see each other again until just over a year ago. Eddie is now 85. Now he's looking at her, looking at each other. I love this. Caroline turns 82 on Thursday. And as our lead national correspondent, that would be David Begnell, found out, they recently married. And guess what? They are still very much in love. It was 1956. Elvis was playing on the jukebox. Ike and Mamie were in the White House. And Caroline and Eddie, well, they were in love. Oh, I just thought he was the cutest boy on campus, you know. And once I saw her, uh, it was all over. Eddie Lamb was earning 65 cents a day, delivering the Nashville Tennessean, the newspaper that would one day tell their love story. When I took her out, all I could do was uh, Coke and French fries, <laughs> and that, that was about it. That's the only meal he ever bought me was <laughs> French fries and a Coke. Known around town as Eddie's girl, Caroline Reeves wasn't looking for a fancy dinner. She had her eyes set on his high school class ring and all that it would signify. It was an engagement ring. And I was the type of person that would have committed myself to him for the rest of my life with that ring. When you didn't get the high school ring? It was just really broke my heart. And I just thought he just didn't care enough about it, about me. And what came of that? Well, not a whole lot. <laughs> Whose fault was that? No, uh, that was probably mine. <laughs> Look at y'all. And I made all of the dresses. Eddie set his sights high, joining ROTC at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville with dreams of flying planes in the U.S. Air Force. It was her senior year in high school, and Eddie couldn't find the words to tell a proper goodbye to Caroline. So he didn't. We pulled up in her driveway, and I said, may I kiss you? And so I kissed her goodnight then, not knowing that that's the last time I would kiss her in 64 or 65 years. And I got out of that car and ran up the steps and slammed the door and went upstairs and cried all night. That was it. Their lives would follow far different paths. She became Miss Nashville, 1959. Two years later, they were married to other people. She to Charles Wallace. He to Polly Piper. Eddie would go on to serve 21 years flying KC-135s for the United States Air Force. Caroline traveled the world. She was an interior designer, a magazine writer, and wrote three novels. Things changed in December 2021. Eddie's wife, Polly, the mother of their two children, died from ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. They'd been married two days shy of 60 years. I heard you were her caretaker. Yes, I was for about uh, a year and a half to two years. It's just a, shows you his strength and how sweet and kind and gentle this man is. After her marriage to Charles Wallace ended in the 80s, Caroline married a man named George Kennedy. He died in 2001. Over the course of your life, did you wonder how Eddie was? All the time, all the time. Eddie, did you wonder how she was? Yes, I did. In April 2022, Eddie was living in California, Caroline in Nashville. And all at once, something hits me. I said, I've got to call her. I had nine calls, and I don't answer unsolicited calls. <laughs> Eddie, you called nine times. Nine times. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm not going to give up. I love it. Yeah, not going to give up. Just what she wanted to hear. That third night, he told me he still loved me. And... I knew my life had changed. He flew to Nashville to see her. This time, she was in the driver's seat. And I heard you didn't make it too far from the airport. No, you. no, no. He peeked his head into my car, and I just, oh, he took my <laughs> breath away. I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. I just can't even explain it. So I got out of the parking lot, zoom, 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 went around and found the FedEx parking lot. And it was the warehouse, it was closed at night, and they had all these security lights. And I got out and jumped around, and we hugged and kissed. And I remember looking up at the security lights, and insects were swirling all around. The FedEx lights. Wow. So FedEx does deliver. <laughs> <laughs> at the age of 84, Eddie popped the question. 
He said, well, we'll get you a ring. And I said, no, this is what I want. And he put this on my finger. And that's his high school class ring. That you wanted 60 years ago. It's my engagement ring. And the girl got it. God, I love it. <laughs> I love you. Her dream came true. If you had to title your story, what would it be? Miraculous. That we found our love again. We ask God all the time, why did you do this? And now we know to take care of each other. And believe wow. it or not, the two lovebirds have discussed life after death. Mm -hmm. And Caroline tells us that Eddie will be buried next to Polly. That's oh. the way that she wants it. She oh. says that's the mother of his two kids. Wow. And that's where he should be. She's going to be buried in the family plot back in Nashville. God, I love them both. I mean, just the way that they came together. But what so touches me so is that you can feel this kind of passion yeah. at this stage, at this time in your life. I love this story, and David. Years just melt away. Yeah. Time disappears when they're wow. together. And they're making out like kids at the FedEx parking lot. <laughs> they are lovebirds in their eddies. By the way, Caroline has a birthday on Thursday. Happy birthday. Happy I birthday. just love that you can still Go back to that love that you felt yes. burning 60 yes. some odd years yeah. ago. And you asked right? the question, I was wondering, did they think about each other during that the yeah. times that they were with other people? And they did. And I just appreciated how deferential she has been to Polly. Mm -hmm. Like she honors what Polly was in his life for 60 years, right? right. Mm -hmm. And she recognizes yes. that yeah. it wasn't meant to be that they were together back then. But today, in the end, it's them. That's does it, profound. Does it make you guys wonder if your high school sweetheart's thinking about you? Does it? Uh, I think. Is it just me? Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, that's my, my follow-up question. Hey, I think we gotta go to commercial break right now. <laughs> Nate's uh, like, come on now. Nate, Nate and I are in the middle of life's journey, and we were happily yeah. married individually. No, okay, uh, well, all right. Gail, did you have a high school gonna, sweetheart? I did. Are you, you gonna make a phone Kenneth? call? Do you think about him? <laughs> Sometimes, Sometimes, but not like that. Not right. the way that they're right. thinking. I just wonder, I wonder how he's doing. How he's not doing. Not the way that, yeah, not the way that they're clearly still pining for each other, which is nice. No yeah. pining, okay. It's a no pining. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> David, thank you very much. <laughs>